a buy station is playing. Welcome back to Pokemon Silver. Okay, let's pretend that never happened. That uh, I just f felt like fiddling around with the radio on. Uh, just wondered what was playing. Oh, it's Friday, so lullabies are playing. Oh, well, no. Alright, let's uh, use our outdoor voices for real now. Welcome back to Pokemon Silver. Okay. So, uh, that was a pretty tough gym fight last uh, time. Remember that fight? It was against this gym leader, Whitney, and her mill tank. I actually looked back at that fight. Uh... There were probably some stuff I could have done, like heal in between turns when I knew my one of my Pokemon were gonna definitely faint to a rollout attack, but I didn't think to do that. Yeah, there was stuff I, yeah, stuff like that. But well, at least I still did it anyway. That's all right. Um, so just so you know, uh, I'm gonna actually fight a wild Pokemon real quick. There is a reason for this right now. I was grinding just before this episode starts, uh, or rather, like a while before this. Xander is now level 19. Okay, we'll just uh, level up someone else alongside here. Who will it be? Probably draw some. I'll do that. Yeah, I, I always seem to grind, like, when I'm do grinding off screen, I always try to be, like, just before a level up occurs, like, like, like filling the EXP bar just close enough, but not high enough to make it so that it gets a level up. I don't know, I just seem to do that, uh, so I don't, like, miss out on anything, or, or do anything off screen that would kind of mess up the recording, but anyway. Xander's now level 20, that's a level up right there. Jelsum somehow didn't level up. And what do you know? Xander is now finally evolving. About time. Whew. Congratulations, Xander is now Togetic. It's that took quite a while to be honest. Um, well now that that's over with, uh, Xander. I'm not gonna hold on to you anymore. Sorry, but that was kind of painful for me to do that, to be honest. I just felt like evolving it. Um, we could probably use Xander for stuff uh, later in the game, but if this was... Uh, thing is, though, it, I know Togekiss is not in this generation, and even then, if it... Togekiss, would, it would be really nice, but uh, Togetic, uh... Not really my thing, so I'm just gonna deposit it. And I'm talking about the Generation 6 version of Togekiss, where it's fairy type. Where, yeah, where it's a fairy type. Uh, anyway, I'm actually gonna leave the uh, Pokemon party count at 5 here. And we'll see. We'll go up real quick to this guard station right here. So, yeah, we couldn't uh, do this guy's task because we needed a space for a party member for some reason. I'm not sure what this is about, but we'll, we'll uh, see what this guy wants real quick. Excuse me, guy. Can you do a guy a, a, guy a favor? <laughs> uh, can you take this Pokemon with mail to my friend? I know who you're talking about. So I'm not really sure what this is about. Really? You're right. I know that. Received a Pokemon with mail. You can read it, but don't lose it. Route 31. Oh yeah. There was a weird tree blocking the road. I wonder if it's been cleared. I don't think so. Maybe it is? I don't know. I mean, we could also, you know, go the long way, but I don't know if I want to do that. Did we actually get another Pokemon? Who is this person? Kenya. Kenya is a country. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Who is... What is this? Oh, it's a Spiro. Huh. This is this is weird. It wasn't. It, this was not a trade. This was just a straight up gift. But it's named Pokemon. That's weird. That is really weird. Um. Okay. Uh. 
Am I supposed to still hold on to it? I thought we'd be getting like a, an actual other Pokemon. I'm not gonna use it, obviously. Oh, there's a berry tree over there that I wanna figure out how to get to, but I don't think I can get to. You know, I actually never even looked in this grass yet. Do I wanna go in it right now? Let's do it. I wonder what I can find in here. Oh, neater, neater and female. Wow, this is a very low level one. We'll, we'll try to catch this while we're at it. It's been a while since I caught a Pokemon. Okay, actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. We have Clockwork. Who can... Who's learned a new move that I haven't used yet because I figured I'd use it for catching wild Pokemon here. Let's use Hypnosis right now. And it missed, probably. It didn't affect. Yeah, more, like, more like it missed. You know what? We have Foresight. I actually did look up uh, look up Foresight, and yes, it turns out it does make your next move hit. Guaranteed. So we'll do that, and now we'll put it to sleep. Which will work. Yes. Okay. I don't think I actually kept this move. I was thinking about getting rid of this move, to be honest. I thought it was, this was the move that like makes it so that you can attack nor Normal type moves hit ghost type moves, but that's not what it was at all. I don't know what it would, would have been, but uh, <laughs> we have ten fastballs. A uh, ball, great ball, or fastball. Fastball. We have ten fastballs. Yeah, I've been doing. I've been getting daily fastballs every day. Oh, okay, that did not work. And you're asleep, and it didn't work. Come on, really? We'll use the Great Ball instead. I, I was thinking about using the Great Ball, but I wanted to use one of my ten Fast Balls instead. There we go. Gotcha! Nidoran was caught. Nidoran female. I don't know how people would say that. I just... I, I feel like saying it as Nidoran female is right. I don't think it is, but... We'll see. Although not very combative, it will torment its foes with poison spikes if it is threatened in any way. Uh, nickname... What nickname should we give you? Vanna. We'll just name it Vanna. I couldn't think of anything other than Vanna. That's a good name. So that's one of the Pokemon we can find here. There's a trainer here. Is that a trainer? Yes, it is a trainer. We'll fight you. I'll go anywhere if bug Pokemon appear there. Wait, so you'll find bug Pokemon, okay. And you're a bug. I, that's what I thought you would be. Bug catcher Arnie wants to battle. I thought your name was spelled- Isn't Arnie spelled with two A's normally? I don't know. Venonat. Alright. Another bug. Alright. I think the- uh, not the usual clockwork can do this. We'll peck at it. Supersonic, uh, boy, do I have the, the bitter berry on clockwork? No, I don't. I don't. Okay, well, it's chance, but we got a peck. Okay, that did half. Say, uh, why do you know disable? I didn't know that Ben and Nuts could get that move. Well, then, Jossum, you're close to leveling up. I'll send you out now. Do it, Jawsome! Foresight. Oh, alright. So now you, you'll hit me with the... With, with the uh, you'll hit me with your next move no matter what. Unless I can kill you, kill you first. No. Right. I'm starting to think Scratch does more than Water Gun now. I don't know why. Even though... Even, like... I... Like, sometimes I just, like, ponder if the... The enemy Pokemon has higher special defense or defense, I don't know for sure. I just try to pick whoever would make sense, but I seem to be picking Water Gun more often than not. Tam will learn Thunder Wave! That is a good move. Paralysis guaranteed is, all, is usually good, especially for hindering your opponent. Jocelyn is learning a new move too. Bite. Oh. Uh, bite, okay. It... Sounds better than Rage or Leer. Do I 
really use Gleer that much? Hmm, not really, no. Uh, Rage. I'm gonna get rid of Rage. I don't use it. Or really, I don't want to use it, to be honest. Clockwork level 18? Yeah, I told you that I grind my Pokemon just before they're about to level up. Not kidding. Not that. Alright, anyway. This tree can be chopped down by cutting it down. Where is it? Wow, where is this leading? Whoa. Hold on a minute. Before I even fight... Ah! Wait, it blocks a three-way intersection. I did not know that. Okay, it still... Ugh, still blocks the path. Wow. I will fight some of these trainers then. Thanks to my studies, I'm ready for any Pokemon. Uh, how many different coverages do you have on your- Whoa. You look like you go to school. Schoolboy, Alan wants a battle. Alright. Tangela. Aren't these things supposed to be blue? They're not green, they're blue. Well, that, I mean, that looks like a cyan more than a, than a green. If it was green, that's shiny. Clockwork, you might as well just, uh, peck at it. Tamau can't do much to grass types anyway. Tangler, I don't know. Is Tangler good? Might be good, I don't know. No, stop sucking my HP. I'll peck at it. I could put it to sleep, actually, but I don't know. I don't think this Tangler can do too much constrict. Does that trap me? I don't... It doesn't seem like it, no. Okay. Okay, this is not a problem at all. That was a... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it would... I thought it would go down there. But I guess not. But then this will definitely knock it out. There. <laughs> That's not bad in, in, for experience right there, just so, off of one Pokemon. Oops! Computation error? Com who's, what kind of schoolboy would know what a computation error is? What's in this grass? I want to find something in here. You know what? Never mind. We'll fight you instead. I'm going to read your thoughts. Um, you're not one of those magicians that can just do card tricks like that. Are you a psychic? Yes, you are. Mark! Wants to battle. Abra. Oh, you have Abra's. I bet that'll teleport. Okay, I don't have... I don't have anything super... Oh, wait, yes I do. What do I do? Uh... Jawsome, you learned Bite. So, we'll bite these Abra's. We'll do just that. Oh, your accuracy is gonna get lowered. Well, dang. Uh... Bite. I'm actually going first. I thought Abra was really fast. Huh. I guess I'm just... Just faster than it, I guess. Another Abra. No, we'll stay in. Jossum can... Can fight them. Might as well... Work your... This is some good jaw exercise, by the way, for Jossum. This is actually the first time Jossum is actually using her jaws. Now that I think about it. So yeah. Well, we'll keep fighting. Kadabra! No, bite this one too. It's got extra limbs and a spoon. But Jossum doesn't need spoons. Jossum has teeth. Sounds very gory in a way, but then again... <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, that was... These frames are very easy. I misread you. You didn't misread me, I j you just had Abra's. What does that have to do with... Uh, I don't even know. Oh, here we go. I've been looking for these. It's a fruit-bearing tree. It's an ice berry. Okay. I guess that's for frozen status, I'd, I'd imagine. Hey, it's a tree. You know what? Mer headbutt. Go for it. Nope, nothing. Uh, okay. What's well, actually a... Uh... You can actually repeatedly chop the same tree... Or chop it down. Headbutt the same tree over and over again until eventually a Pokemon appears. I actually have not never hit my head. Hit my head. Have Mer headbutt 
uh, trees outside of the Ilex forest yet. I haven't done that because I don't want to encounter new things yet. Hoot hoot. What level are you? 15. Oh, this is going to be a good experience then. Thundershock. Oh, wow, it didn't even one-shot it. Peck. <laughs> it's not very effective. That's good. Literally, the only reason why I'd keep Tackle is just for that, but then again, I would, I'd still switch out anyway, so I didn't think accidentally forgetting to move Tackle was really all that bad in the end anyway. I don't want to just encounter Hoot Hoot, though. Oh! Nidoran Male, the other one. Alright. Okay, we'll weaken this one. We can probably make use of, uh, Underwave here, actually. Double kick. How are you kicking me, anyway? Probably, probably a mule kick with the hind legs or something, I'm not sure. And I can't really imagine a need around me playing soccer or anything like that. Okay, anyway. Paralyzed. Fastball, or... Fastball. I feel like the description of this is very vague. A ball for catching fast Pokemon, like... Um, fast as in high speed? I guess that's what it means. We'll just use a Great Ball. Uh, actually, mm, yeah. Great Ball might work here. Doesn't waste time. Alright. Nidoran, male was caught. It raises its beers. Yeah. What? It raises its big ears to check its surroundings. It will strike first if it senses any danger. Give this thing a nickname. <laughs> you know what I just thought of? Oh man. If so, if Nidoran female is Vanna, then we're gonna name this one Pat. Yeah, I, that was actually not my intention, but then I just realized, oh, you know what, Nidoran male, Nidoran female, how about Pat and Vanna? From Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> That's clever right there, actually. I gotta, right. Can we find something in here? We'll have to try this tree over here next to it. Nope, nothing. How about this one? Are, are these trees gonna actually work? Oh, okay, there we go. Well, that answers that question. But we have, no oh, Weedle. Ugh! No, 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 no. I don't want just weedles from these trees. Alright, um... Let me read this. Trainer tips. Pokemon sets vary, even within the same species. Their stats may be similar at first, however, differences will become pronounced as Pokemon grow. Um... I'm pretty sure that this is, like, referring to... Ivies in a way? I don't know though. That, they don't really mention Ivies as being a thing. Oh, we have to get out of here with the cut, or we can. You know what? We'll do that real quick. Chop this one down. We never. We didn't even encounter much in the, this patch of grass over here anyway. This is a very long, narrow path. Path of patches of grass. Path of patches of grass, huh? Alright. Oh, whoa, what the heck? That, that, this feels, I don't know why, but this is kind of awkward how that's solid. Huh, alright, we'll take this. TM4? Let's see what the 4 TM is. Oh, dude, how did I forget? Oh, man. I just remembered something. It reminds me. Roll out. Attacks five turns with rising power. Okay. I forgot to mention, I did pick up this TM, uh, remember, I, I did remember Sunday that there was a person inside that uh, department store that would give away a TM, uh, for free, and it, and she did. She gave me TM27, if you don't know what TM27 is, well, here it is, right here. It translates to return. And return actually is a really, really good move, um if you can make your Pokemon really, really happy, which something in this game I'm not very good at. <sighs> Sander. So, I'm not sure. It's... There's gotta be something hidden here. 
I don't know. Okay, anyway, what about, what's your deal? What's your deal? You're a trainer. What kinds of Pokeball do you use? Fast and great. I don't know. Okay guys, um, a little weird sequence of events actually happened over the past 24 hours, and by 24 hours I mean right now, it's actually the next day, and I'm not even joking. It's Saturday now. <laughs> yeah, I actually had to end that recording real quick, but I, the recording was too short for me to just, uh, end it there, so I'm just gonna have to be like, you know, I'll just stop here and continue this some other time, and now's the time. <laughs> so, and I actually completely forgot what I was doing, to be honest. This is- it was so inconvenient, unfortunately. Oh, I'll just knock everything out here. I might actually have to go look back at what I was doing before, but I don't know. Oh, I paralyzed something that I already caught. Awesome. That means I have good luck in the wrong places. But at least it's good. There isn't bad luck in the wrong places. Or, you know, bad luck in the right places in a way. I don't know. Right or wrong, I, just none of it, please a long way through this grass. Huh. Alright, so I do remember going this way. But then I decide to not go this way or something? I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. There's something. There's gonna be another berry in here. Yeah. Two ice berries in one episode. That's unusual. But there's a reason. A good reason. Okay. Huh. You know, oh, this, is this a PC I can use? Yeah, it is. Alright. You know, I actually was looking at, uh, why in the world I'm still keeping this Pokemon in the party, this Kenya. We don't need it here right now. I mean, we're not doing the delivery right now. Wait, what? Remove mail? Um, that is... Just a second. Just a second, I'm gonna save real quick. Didn't the guy tell us not to open that letter? I'll save here and then hopefully I don't mess this up. Oh, wait a minute. Move Pokemon without mail? There is a Pokemon holding mail. Please remove the mail. Huh? How do we get the mail out? Oh, I mean, we can't release it. So, let me, uh... Take it, I guess. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? Let's read it. Dark Cave leads to another road. Randy. That's all it says? Can we take it? Send the removed mail to your PC. But I want to be sure I can put it back. Let me see, it's probably in here now. If I had a guess. Mailbox. Attach mail. To... Okay, it looks like it can. So, what I will do now... That's, this is very complicated for what I have to do. I gotta like, go into certain options, uh, mail. Just take it. I wanna deposit this thing because I don't really need it right now. In fact, I'm probably never gonna use it anyway. I don't know why- why do you give it to me is the question. Mailbox. It's there. Okay, well, what I meant to do... <laughs> is deposit- that's- it's weird that it's actually kind of restricting me to, uh, Deposit Pokemon with mail attached to them. That's a, I don't understand that at all. Alright, anyway, though. Uh, 
Fatty can come with us. Alright. We'll also put Batty in front. Uh, dang it. This me uh, I still do jitter a bit when I have to do things on the menus. Try to do things quick, but when I am too quick, it turns into rushing. What's your deal? Today's Saturday. That means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are si whoa. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug Pokemon to be judged. Would you give it a try? Sure. You know what? Uh oh. You have more than one Pokemon. You have to use Zubat, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay with you? No, it's not. I. If we're catching things, I think the best Pokemon to use for the. Uh, wait a minute. Either. Oh man, it's either gonna be Tamal or Clockwork. I'm gonna. You know what? It's gonna be Tamal. The reason is. Tamal has two moves, Tackle, which is weak, and then uh, Thundershock, which is good damage. Uh, I, don't, I feel like having two moves is better than just one, especially when that one on Clockwork is uh, a super effective peck. So it'll be Tamal that will be doing this. People are going to be confused as to why in the world it's Friday and I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, I have to hope that never happens again. I did not like how I had to end the episode. Well, I didn't end the episode. I just kind of paused it right there. Here are the park balls for the contest. Oh, are, you, are, you, are we going to the ball game? Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Oh, whatever. You have 20 minutes. If you run out of park balls, you're done. This is going to take 20 minutes. You may keep... <coughs> you may keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own. Go out and catch the strongest bug Pokemon you can. Oh, this is interesting. Alright. We're just going to be catching bugs, I guess. Wild Venonat. Well, this is good, because we can get... We can catch these for the decks. Oh, wait a minute. This is... Huh, this is a very different menu. We're be are we being timed as we fight? I think we are. You know what? Thundershock right now. Don't knock it out! Ugh. That was a critical hit. That probably... Would not... <laughs> Let's try again. This grass is different to the other ones I've seen. Whoa! Pincer. Ah, I really want to catch this. That's for sure. But don't kill it. Okay, focus energy. Hmm. Do we go for... I'll go for a... Th uh, no, not a grab. Mm, I meant to pick Thunder Wave. But then again, I guess the grab... No, the growl may not matter. Oh, blind. Oh, missed anyway. Okay, Thunder Wave. Oh no, maybe it can't attack. Alright. Now let's try this. We have 20 of these park balls, which is great. Oh, nope. Not quite. <laughs> you keep missing. Uh, tackle. Tackle's weak. Uh, this pincer actually doesn't seem like it would be useful if it's just using these weird moves. Mmm. Another three shake. How about if you just shake, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, a Pokeball does shake three times after it, and then it catches. Come on! Oh, you're paralyzed, alright. Oh, okay, that, meh. Really? We'll tackle it again, how about that? And missed. Alright, interrupted there for a moment. Uh, I missed my tackle. I, I saw that. There we go. Okay, it's in red now, so we should be alright. Can we just catch one at least? That'd be nice. More specifically this one. Okay, there we go. Pincer was caught. Do we have time for a name? I don't know. 
Well, I, I, again, I don't know for time. Swings its long antlers widely to attack. During cold periods, it hides deep in forests. Oh, we don't even name it. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, more of this grass. Um... Scyther. Alright, well, oh, wait a minute. Super, it's gonna be super... It's gonna be weak to this. Well, let's see here. Pursuit. Alright, not that I would have switched there, to be honest. I, I, I don't think I have two Pokemon. Okay, that works. Thunder Wave. Park Ball, alright. These Park Balls are very bland looking. They're like gray. Aren't Park Balls yellow? I thought they were, I don't know. I might be thinking of something else though. Ugh! Okay, no one told me that these would be pretty tough ones to catch. Uh, no. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, damn it. Um... Can I not use items? Oh, uh... That actually isn't that good, then. Okay, good. We got, we got it. Maybe I can use an item out of battle? Anyways, we caught Scyther. When it moves, it leaves only a blur. So motion blur? Okay. If it hides in grass, it prote its protective colors make it invisible. Huh. Alright. You already co- um... Oh. Wait. Good question, actually. Nah. The reason is, I know that I'm not gonna be getting a Caesar if I I'm, if I'm end up keeping the Scyther. Cater Caterpie? Hello, Caterpie. I thought you were not able. I thought you were not in this game, but I guess you are t in this game in a way. I looked up for you on the Pokedex radar, but you were nowhere to be found. This, this catching this one even matter? I forgot to heal, by the way. Oh, whatever. I don't know if uh, catching this matters or not now that I'm thinking about it, because we're not keeping it anyway. I really would not want to keep a Caterpie. If we're keeping one Pokemon, I would definitely keep the Pinsir over this Caterpie. That's for sure. But then again, we do get three free evolutions. Its feet have suction cups designed to stick to any surface. It tenaciously climbs trees to forage. You already caught a Pinsir. Switch Pokemon? No. Okay. Uh, I can't actually go in my bag? Why? Why not? Uh, ooh, okay, I didn't really mean to walk into that little patch of grass that's sticking out there. Uh, Kamau is kind of low on HP. Running low is not good right now. Maybe I should have healed before this. It's only crossed my mind now, though, is the thing. Dang it! Uh, oh, I, okay, yeah. I meant to paralyze at first, but, you know, we'll try again. Okay, there we go, better. Then that was caught. Poison oozes from all over its body. It catches something, eats small bugs at night that are attracted by light. I kind of skipped there. Uh, no. They, these are getting added to the decks by the looks of it. I mean, why would they show me the the uh, the info or the biology of it if I'm not gonna keep these? Uh, Metapod. Huh? It's evolution, all right. Of the uh, Caterpie, of course, not a uh, not them that. All right. Okay, Park Ball. I sure paralyzed it. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, wow, that actually worked. I, don't, I did not think that would work. We got the Metapod, though. Let's see it. It prepares for evolution by hardening its shell as much as possible to protect its soft body. Alright, we'll 
keep... We're still, we're still keeping that pincer. Pincer is so far the only thing in here that seems of interest right now. Also Scyther again. I'm gonna have to knock this one out. If I can, that is. I should be able to, though. I think I could get a level up off of this. That'd be good. Oh! oh even better, you're paralyzed. Pretty sure I'm faster than you now. Yep. Okay. Tamal's now level 20, that's good. Very good. There's water in here, which is a little weird, huh? This isn't a huge area. And also, 20 minutes just seem kind of long, now that I'm thinking about it. Another metapod. Is there more things for me to find other than what I've seen so far? I don't know what I'm missing. Or if I am missing anything. Maybe there's, uh, Butterfree here? I don't know. That's one of the things I could only think of that'd still be around, these parts at least. We saw Caterpie and Metapod. Is Heracross in here too? I'd actually want a Heracross if I find one over a pincer, to be honest. They're only level 10, really? Whatever. It's still worth knocking out anyways for experience and also for the protection of Tamal's HP and you just live, but then you miss. Okay. Uh, Tamal is actually kind of running low on the PP for Thundershock. Which is not good. Oh, okay, hi. Um, we don't need you. But you are level 18, so that's gonna be a good amount of experience. I might end up start cutting some of these out, to be honest. <laughs> since it's not actually that exciting. Anyway, can I need to check something? Oh, Tamal actually is the only one in the party. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. I'll, I'll look in this uh, taller looking grass, the big patches. Uh, we already have you. Ooh, you're uh, actually gonna be tougher to knock out. Actually, can I run? I wanna run from that. I don't have any faith I'll knock that thing out before it knocks me out. I know Paris actually kinda hurts. Oh, really? There's two? I don't want to fight you. I don't have faith. Well, I mean, I could actually, what I could do is throw a Pokeball, but then, and, I don't know, that's that's sort of risking it for, for real there. My my goal is to actually... Wait a minute, my goal is to catch these, aren't... Why am I knocking them out? Oh, wait, that's gonna definitely knock it out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did not... I wasn't even thinking about that. It was, like, only a level 8 Weedle. Of course, it's gonna knock out. Can we get something grand here? Not grand to me, at least. Only four more uses of this move, by the way, so... Gotta make it count. Yes! Oh, dude, I was hoping for the paralysis on that one, for real there. I'm like, oh my god, please paralyze so I can catch it very easily. Or not? Excuse me, when I say easy, I mean it should be, uh, it should work right here. And shake at least like once or something? Quick attack. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 please don't knock me out. I am desperate to catch you before you even kill me. No? Oh? Okay. Oh uh, boy. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. No. Yeah, I'm dead. Well then. I am. Do I lose money? Don't lose money right here. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, good. <laughs> so, so we didn't get a timeout. We actually just stopped because we had town that get knocked out okay we will now judge the Pokemon you've caught we have chosen the winners are you ready for this 
Placing third was Budge Cat Budge Catcher. Bug Catcher Benny, who caught a Butterfree. The score was 325 points. Placed in second was Poke Fan William, who caught a pincer. Also did I. I caught a pincer too. 332 points. It is Oh my goodness! I won! Alex who caught a pincer! Wow. I know I only decided to keep the pincer because I just kind of wanted that one more than anything. The winning score was 347. I get the number one prize, a sunstone. Sweet. What are we gonna use that for? I wonder. Huh? Who knows? Please join us for the next contest, whenever that will be. That'd be next Saturday. Nickname the pincer. Oh. We'll name it Wilco. Welcome, Wilco! Your party was full. Your party's full? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, because it was. I had to do that. Alright. That's what happened. Did that knockout actually make my. Oh, okay. Never mind. Everyone's healed. All, uh, or not everyone. Just Tamal. So that was something. William, you're the winner. What did you catch? A pincer. That's what I caught. Next time, I'm going to win. I, I can't believe I lost at bug catching. Congrats, you have earned my respect. Well, thank you. Wow, you beat me. You're pretty good. See, I'm pretty good. Alright. So, well, you know what? Since I had that, like, whole episode there of me, well, two... Well, it's gonna be split into two pieces, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to put them together. That's besides the point. I should not talk about recordings or anything. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway, since I uh, just finished the bug catching competition, oh wow, everyone's already gone. That was fast. Uh, I think we'll just end the recording right here. Uh, this is probably a weird place for me to end it, uh, especially looking at the time. But it's I'm just gonna put the two. Uh, sessions of recordings together. It's gonna, it's weird, but I had to do it. It's the only thing I could have done. I could not scrap what I already had recorded. It, it just didn't seem right to do that, so... We'll make the best of what I can. I don't really want to go over what even occurred that made me have to stop recording. Might as well just keep that at, just keep it at that. Uh, anyway, next time on Pokemon Silver, I think we'll just end up, uh, keep following the path. I kind of caught up to this place. I don't know if I did this on accident or on purpose. I think I don't. I think this is not where I need to be just yet. But I just kind of went this way and ended up here. I think there was a branching path back at the area that I'll go down. But that'll be uh, next time on Pokemon Silver. I'll save the game here. Saving. Do not turn off the power. And have a good one.